Welcome to another video. Google has launched some new experimental models on their site. Today, we'll be trying them out. There's a new Gemini 1.5 Pro experimental model, which is said to be a better version of Gemini with improved training on coding and complex parameters. It's trained on the previous experimental version they launched a few days back. I did a video on that as well. In addition, they've added a new experimental Gemini 1.5 flash model, and they also have a very small experimental Gemini 1.5 flash with just 8 billion parameters. So, all in all, there are three new models. If we look at the LMSYS Arena scores, the Gemini flash has taken a huge leap, climbing from number 23 to number 6 overall, which is really cool. It even ranks above Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but I didn't think it would be as good as Sonnet. Apart from that, Gemini 1.5 Pro shows strong gains in coding and math over previous versions and is placed at number 2 on the leaderboard. The smaller Gemini 1.5 Flash 8B outperforms the Gemini 2.9B, matching Llama 370B levels, which is also really cool. You can also see the coding benchmarks that LMSYS has shared here in the coding benchmarks. And as you can see, they look pretty good as well. These new models are available on Google's AI Studio for free to try out. So, let's try them out and see if they really work as claimed. I'll be testing all three models against these 13 questions. So, let's get started. The first question is, what is the capital city of the country whose name ends with Lia? I'm referring to the country name here. The answer should be Canberra, or any country capital that rhymes with Lia. Let's send it and check. The left one is Pro, the middle one is Flash, and the right one is the smaller Flash 8B. Here's the answer. And the Pro model answers this correctly while the other Flash and Flash 8B models don't. So, let's mark it. Now, the next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. Let's send it and check. Here's the answer, and all the models are correct on this question. So, let's give them all a pass. The next question is, John has three boxes of pencils. Each box contains 12 pencils. How many pencils does John have in total? The answer should be 36. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and all three models give the correct answer. So, let's give them all a pass. Now, the next question is, Lucy has twice as many candies as Mike. If Mike has seven candies, how many candies does Lucy have? The answer should be 14. Let's send it and check. Here's the answer, and all of them are correct. So, this one's also a pass for all three. The next question is, is 3,307 a prime number? The answer should be yes. So, let's send and check. Here's the answer, and the pro and flash models don't answer this correctly while the Flash 8B model does. So, this one's a pass for 8B and not a pass for the bigger models, which is really interesting. Anyway, the next question is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it. Here are the answers and all the models answer this correctly. So, all of them get a pass. The next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it. Here are the answers, and again, all of them are correct. So, let's mark it. Now the next question is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9.
Let's send it and check the results. Here are the answers, and all of them answered incorrectly. So, this one's a fail for all of them. Now, the next questions are coding ones. The first one is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and check. Here's the code from all of them. Let's first preview the pro version. So, this looks pretty good. So, this one's a pass. Now let's preview the Flash version. Okay, it doesn't work at all. So, this one's a fail. Now let's look at the 8B version, and it doesn't work well either. So, this one's a fail as well. The next question is, create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. Let's send it and check. Here's the code from all of them. Let's run them and check. This is the pro version, and it works fine. This is the Flash version, and it also works correctly. This is the Flash 8B version, and it also works correctly. So, all of them get a pass. Now, the next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's see if they can do this. Here's the code. Let's preview them one by one. This one is from Flash 8B, and this doesn't look like a butterfly. So, this one's a fail. This is the preview from Flash, and this does look a little bit like a butterfly. So, this one's a pass. The next one here is from Pro, and this looks pretty good. So, this one's a pass. The next question is, create a landing page for an AI company. The landing page should have four sections, header, banner, features, and contact us. Make sure the landing page looks sleek and modern. You can use HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and see. Here's the code from all of them. Let's preview the pro model generation first. So, it looks really good. So, this one's a pass. Here's the preview from Flash, and this also looks pretty good. So, this one's a pass. Here's the preview from Flash 8B, and this also looks pretty good as well. So, this one's a pass as well. Now, the next question is, write a game of life in Python that works in the terminal. Let's send it and check the answers. Here's the code from all of them. Let's run it and see. This is the pro model generation, and it works pretty well. Now, let's look at the Flash model generation and this doesn't work correctly. So, this one's a fail. Now, let's look at the 8B model generation, and this looks pretty good as well. So, let's mark it. Now, here's the final chart. As you can see, the Pro model looks pretty good, and the Flash model also has a good upgrade, while the Flash 8B is also quite comparable to the Flash model. I think the 8B model is a MOE, or mixture of experts model with active parameters of 8B, which is fine, and it works really well. I would love to see how much cheaper it can be than the Flash model, which is already a lot cheaper. I think all these models are really cool, and overall, they're better than the previous version. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.